Welcome to Awakened Actions A2B2 Yoga. My name is Ashley. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. The practice I'm sharing with you focuses on strengthening our core. While we are strengthening and toning our body, what I really want you to focus on with our core is uniting with your personal power center. The poses may become uncomfortable at times throughout our practice, but rather than letting your mind wander or zoning out to make it through the longer holds, devote your energy to uniting with your body and acknowledging the strength that you are feeling in your body. No props are needed for our practice today. Have a water bottle nearby and I'll meet you seated on the mat. Find a comfortable cross-leg seated position. Palms rest to your legs. Draw your shoulder heads up and back, lengthening up through your spine. Stacking your head over your heart and your heart over your pelvis. Take three deep breaths, giving yourself a moment to fully arrive here on the mat, body, mind, and spirit. On your next exhale, lower your left ear towards your left shoulder. You can spider your right fingertips off to the side to help deepen the stretch. Close your eyes and enjoy the gentle opening. Inhale, lift up to center and exhale, right ear to right shoulder. Spider left fingertips off to the side. Lift up to center. Let's breathe in, circle your fingertips to the sky and exhale, twist from your navel and open to the left. One hand to your knee, the other comes to your seat behind you. Breathe and lift up to center, and exhale, open to the right, drawing navel to spine as you twist. Inhale, circle up to center. Exhale, cactus your arms, opening your elbows nice and wide as you slowly lower them down or bring your soles of feet to the mat in front of you, as close to your seat as you can, and wrap your arms around your knees. We are going to take our first core check-in with a balancing pose. So sit up nice and tall as you hug your knees in, connect with your breath and your core to lift your feet up off the mat. Find your balance here. I found this super challenging myself, so just do the best you can, and you can play around with using your toes to help balance you. Make sure you're keeping your spine nice and long and activating your core, drawing your lower belly up and in and your front ribs knitting together. Breathing in and out your nose as you balance. And soften and lower your feet to the mat. Bring your fingertips behind you and lengthen up through your spine. We're going to incorporate breath of fire with our next pose. So a passive inhale through your nose and a powerful exhale out your nose. Your exhales, your navel snaps back to your spine. To help get it started, you can stick out your tongue and pant like a dog, then close your mouth and breathe in and out your nose. Once you have that, continue breath of fire as you begin to lean back with a long spine and lift your feet off the mat. We'll hold this doing breath of fire for a little over 30 seconds. Squeeze your seat and inner thighs together. Draw your shoulder heads down your back. Getting taller through the crown of your head. Five, four, three, two, one. Now take a deep breath into the top and hold it. Soles of feet to the mat. Wrap your arms around your thighs to sit up tall. Engage your pelvic floor muscles, your lower belly. And exhale with control as you round back in your spine, chin to chest. Good work. Now let's take a few seated cat cows. So on your next inhale, reach your chest forward, lift your gaze, and then exhale round back in your spine, creating space between your shoulder blades. Inhale, ripple through your spine, shoulder blades squeeze together. Knees can open a little wider to help give space for your torso. And exhale, round back. Inhale to rise up. 
cross your ankles, fingertips to the mat in front of you, and then hop or step yourself back to down dog. We'll take a moment of intuitive movement here in our downward facing dog, tuning into your body and what it needs from you in this pose. Whether that's focusing your attention on stretching this backspace of your legs, spreading your fingers nice and wide, melting your sternum towards the mat, just emphasizing whatever feels best in your body. Settle into stillness. Inhale to extend your right leg to the sky. Exhale through center, hug your knee in towards your chest and then we'll pivot on the back foot to open to the left and extend your leg long out to the left. Lower the pinky toe side of your foot to the ground and then extend your left fingertips up to the sky and press your hips up. Beautiful, my friend. Lower your top arm to the mat, draw your knee back in towards your chest, hold it, and then step it through to your right thumb. Lower your back knee to the mat, on your next inhalation, we'll reach those fingertips up to the sky for our low lunge. We're going to take it into a twist next. So exhale, moving from your navel, twist open to the right, bring your hands to prayer, and then lower your left arm to your thigh. Fuse your palms together to stay broad across your chest to prevent collapsing. All right, let's lift up and return to center, hands frame your foot. Tuck your back toes and press up. Step front foot back for plank pose, and in our plank pose, we'll draw your right knee across your body to your left elbow, then return to plank, and then take your left knee across to your right elbow, and then return it to plank. We'll take this a few rounds, going to for about 30 seconds. Just go at your own pace though. Go at a pace that you feel strong in, and can maintain, and supports good alignment. Remember, rather than zoning out to push through, tune into your body your personal power center. Good work, my friend. Return to plank pose, and in one long line, slowly lower yourself all the way to the mat. Then slide your elbows underneath your shoulders for sphinx pose, lengthening through your front body, heart shining. Notice where you feel your heart beat at in your body. Soften forward, slide your palms under your shoulders, tuck your toes, and press yourself up to plank pose. Then use your pelvic floor muscles to lift your hips to down dog. And let's take that to the second side. Inhale to lift your left leg to the sky. Exhale through center, hugging your knee into your chest. Pivot on the back foot to spin open to the right and extend that leg long, lowering your pinky toe side of the foot to the ground. And then extend the right fingertips to the sky, reaching back to open your chest to the sky. Lower your top arm to the mat. Draw your knee in towards your chest once more, hold it in, hug it up, and then step it through to your left thumb. Lower your back knee to the mat. On your next inhalation, reach your fingertips up towards the sky. And we'll take it into our twist next. So on your next exhale, moving from your navel, twist to the left, hands come to prayer, and then lower your right arm to your thigh. Fuse your palms together to stay broad across your chest. Lift your grace, your crown ahead reaching away to help promote a nice long spine and keeping space between your shoulders and ears. Lift up and return to center. Hands frame your foot. Tuck your back toes and press up. We'll step back for plank pose and we'll take knee to opposite elbow once again for 30 seconds. Drawing knee across your body to the opposite elbow, returning to plank and then taking it over to the other side. Don't worry about speed here, my friend. Keep a strong, fluid movement, uniting with the strength you feel in your body. Good work, my friend. Return to plank pose, and with elbows hugging along your side body, slowly lower yourself all the way to the mat. We're taking sphinx pose, so slide your elbows underneath your shoulders. Shoulder heads draw back, shoulder blades squeeze together. Let's really stretch out and lengthen our abdominal region by sliding our palms under our shoulders and pressing up. But allow the focus to be on opening your front body, stretching it out. Right now, using your pelvic floor muscles, lift those hips to down dog. In down dog, let's come to your tippy toes and then press your chest towards your thighs. From here, 
beginning at your tailbone, begin to wave your spine forward coming into plank pose. Then using the muscles of your pelvic floor, mindfully lift your hips to down dog. Beautiful. Now go ahead and take this wave of your spine from down dog to plank pose three to four more times. Again, we're gonna go at your own pace that allows you to tune in and really connect with your body each step of the way. Slow, fluid movement. The next time you come to plank pose, go ahead and lower to dolphin plank, or you may know this as forearm plank. From here, we'll take this to side plank pose by bringing your right arm so it's parallel with the short edge of the mat, then press yourself up to stack your left hip on top of your right. You can hold it right here, or you have the option to take a few hip dips. Exhale to lower for eight, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower for seven, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower for six, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower for five, lift. Lower for four, keeping your body in one long line as you do this, inhale, lift. Lower for three, lift, you got this. We're gonna lower for two, lift. Lower for one, lift, nice work. Make your way back to full forearm plank pose. And we're gonna take it right over to the second side. So bring your left arm parallel with the short edge of your mat, stacking your hips. If you join me in the hip dips on the other side, let's take those now. Exhale to lower for eight, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower seven, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower six, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower five, lift. Lower four, keep buoyancy in those hips, lift. Lower three, lift, igniting your personal power center here. Lower for two, lift, and lower for one, lift. Awesome work. Now return to full forearm plank pose. From here, we'll make our way into dolphin pose. So bring your elbows underneath your shoulders and your forearms can run parallel or your hands can meet in that center. And then begin to lift your hips as you walk your feet in to bring your torso in and your legs into an A shape. If your upper back begins to round, you may wanna walk your feet back a little bit or take a bend into your knees because we want that nice long spine here. Press away through your forearms to help keep space between your shoulders and your ears. And reach your chest through center. Good work, my friend. Let's lower the knees to the mat and we'll take a feel good puppy pose stretch. So make sure your knees are underneath your hip points and then walk your palms forward to melt your heart through center. Let your forehead kiss the mat. Invite your neck to soften and relax. Breathe into your back, lengthening your spine in both directions. Now let's sink those hips back to, into child's pose. Go ahead and close your eyes. Notice your heartbeat, the rhythm of your breath. Notice how with each breath you take, your heartbeat begins to soften and slow down. Press down into your palms and slowly round forward coming into cat pose. Inhale, ripple through your spine, lowering your belly into cow. And take a few more cat cows at your own pace, taking whatever feel good moves are calling to you after strengthening your core today. and then sit your hips to heels. Now, while we focused on our core strength today, many of the poses also strengthen our upper body. So let's take a few upper body stretches. All right, now mirroring me, extend your left arm out long and cross it over your body. Take the opposite arm above or below the elbow joint to gently guide your arm closer to your body. Check in with your shoulders, soften and relax them away from your ears. Inhale, unwind and open your arms as wide as you can before you take it over to the other side. Right arm crosses over. Opposite arm gently guides your arm towards your body. Unwind. Breathe in, circle the fingertips to sky. 
and let's cactus your arms open wide, elbows pressing away as you slowly lower them down. Let's circle them right back up, taking that one more time. Slowly cactus your arms down, feeling as though the back of your arms are scraping along the back of the wall behind you. Beautiful, all right, bring your soles of feet to the mat in front of you. Cross the back of your thighs, and on your exhale, round back, slowly lowering yourself to the mat. We'll take recline butterfly pose. Bring your soles of feet to kiss and knees open wide. Take your hands to your belly and gently rub it. Rub your abdomen, giving it some love, thanking yourself for taking this time to focus on building strength, not only in your physical core strength, but also in building your relationship with your own personal power center. Taking this time to notice and acknowledge the strength in your body and in your mind. Let's bring your soles of feet to the mat and take them as wide as the mat. Then rest your knees into center and lift your hips up a little bit so you can lower your low back to kiss the mat. Heel till your feet in. Draw your knees in towards your chest to give yourself a hug and take a slow rock side to side, massaging your low back. And then we'll extend one leg long and then the other coming into Shavasana. Arms at your side, palms face up. Allow your body and your mind to settle into complete stillness. Allow your muscles to soften and release. Let the bones of your body weigh heavy and melt into the ground. Take these final moments to really allow your body to soak up the final nourishments of our practice today. Just be here with your breath and let go. Begin to deepen your breath. Roll over to the right side and make your way to a comfortable cross leg seated position. Hands rest to your knees. Roll your shoulder heads up and back for a nice long spine. Lower your right ear towards your right shoulder. Slowly circle down to center, chin to chest. Then circle left ear up towards your left shoulder. Lower back down through center and rise up. Take a big beautiful breath in, circling your fingertips to the sky, gathering love and light. Your palms kiss and bring all that love and light down to heart center. Just notice how you're feeling after our practice today. What is one word that comes to mind that describes how you are feeling after the work we did in our practice? Raise prayer to your forehead, setting an intention to stay present and mindful of our thoughts, thoughts of ourself and thoughts of others. Hands lower to prayer to your mouth, setting an intention to stay present and mindful as we nourish our body. Hands lower to prayer to your heart, setting intention to stay present and mindful of our actions, acting in love and kindness. Sending love and light to you and all beings. 
Namaste. Amazing practice today, my friend. I hope this practice leaves you feeling more deeply connected with your body and with your personal strength in your body and your mind. I love to hear how the practice went for you in the comments below. Feel free to share the one word that came to mind that described how you felt from our practice today. If you enjoyed the practice, be sure to throw the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It truly helps to support my work and making yoga free and accessible to all. From my heart to yours.